day four, the final day of the 2008 New Hampshire Liberty Forum. Dawn's beginning in Amherst with the second annual Breakfast with the Babkas with Jim and Susie Babka from DownsizedDC.org. Oh, he had a specific way he put this, but he said it when he first got up in the talk, too, but he said it at the table like three times. The, the, oh, perf- we expect perfection. perfection. That's what it was. We expect perfection. Uh, Idealistic. That's, uh, that's spin there. Yeah, I have to watch him a little bit, and I, I can get him down. You, you, you've already got a good start. <laughs> And how they use polls to influence the outcome. And how they tell you this isn't possible. And by telling okay. people this yeah, is impossible, it's not possible. It's all about the same problem. The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance continues to recruit for volunteers to help stem the loss of liberty. NHLiberty.org. someone to take care of you or you're looking for some sort of a benefit or perk from the community then you're going to be a, 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 a poor contribution to liberty and freedom and consequently then the public will be also wanting to control you or determine things in your life it's a tough spot for him politically being part of his family message of peace out to the american people is not trivial that's why my campaign has a huge volunteer group on this immigration issue, um, specifically, what would you recommend? A peaceful solution to citizenship, and I'm the only one here, I believe, that really wants to win for the Libertarian Party and bring us to the White House. We also know, based on projections, that in 40 years, two-thirds of the population will either be senior citizen or illegal immigrant. That leaves a very small number of people, a very small tax base, to support what is an outrageous budget deficit and tax system. We also have an immigration need. I think it's kind of funny when people talk about building the wall. Who do you think is going to build the wall? Illegal immigrants. <laughs> There's no one else that wants to do the work in this country. That's the problem. Um, you know, I think what's important is there's a way to talk about sealing the border and preventing illegal immigration without appearing to be heartless. So I, I had a notebook, but I didn't bring it with me. Man, my thing. So I'm just writing um, to Bill. Yeah, so Thanks a lot. Don't forget the money you owe me. Good to hang out with you. We have lots of fun. These pink elephants are awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, yeah. Guard. yeah this is um, back this is by the U.S. government. I'll be giving a plug for your book, Guard. Hey. Oh, yeah. Thanks. thanks. Uh, my book is called Live for Your Die. Now they make it's a collection of, of essays on free market capitalism, yeah, constitutionalism, yeah. with fiction, and um, also material that my father wrote between yeah. World War II yeah. and, and the time he passed away in 2003. Yeah. He was sort of a proto-libertarian, and he used to write some great aphorisms about government involvement in schools, government involvement in the money, money supply, um, and uh, international trade, private property. So, my father is on the back of the book, and um, the rest of the essays that I wrote are in about a 10-year period. And uh, so I hope you can pick it up. That's the old man of the mountain on there, our old uh, state emblem, since passed away. What are you doing, writing a second book there? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is for the New York City. Uh, because the founders understood, as should we, that our Constitution is not important just for the specific laundry list of rights and principles. It's not just a checklist. It's important and a priori for the philosophy that enshrines is central to our mode of government. That being, and this would be the constitutionalist credo if it were up to me, that rights are recognized, not granted. They exist whether the Constitution does, you know, or not. Basically, I started the Free Assembly for Constitutional Thought in an afternoon. Um, I sat down at the computer, went to the IRS website, and in an hour had my employer identification number. All the paperwork was taken care of. I mean, how cool is it to say I'm an executive director of a 527? I mean, my business card kicks ass. <laughs> Confluence of events this weekend, including Liberty Forum, along with the impending New Hampshire primaries, as well as today's Ron Paul address at Liberty Forum. The media has descended on Southern New Hampshire. The important thing is that every citizen carries the most important and valuable weapon that they have in their armory, and that is this. <laughs> How you doing? Representative? 
Hey, how are you? <laughs> was running, right? The cameras? The cameras were running. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And they wanted to ask him, you know, we're, we're some high school students, we have a show on Concord Community Access Television, and he asked me a few questions. They didn't get that whole sentence out because he blundered past him and said, not right now! He's been doing that everywhere he goes. He came up to my town. Okay, he did. And took this older guy, a guy about my age, who was helping with the microphones and stuff. He was a little bit hard of hearing. And he ridiculed him the entire way through a through a one-hour uh, event. He just kept ridiculing this guy to the point where the guy decided he was going to try to sue him. It was John McCain. Could everyone on this side go back three rows? The campaign just called, and they have a large press group that will be traveling with them. <laughs> Yes, anybody who bought his book over the past couple days. He is also a great show from Bureau of Production. Part of that new media revolution. Yeah. We're broadcasting live on the internet right now. Yeah. And I'm going to ask each of you a favor to do something to help this new media cover on ball. Within the next three or four hours, we will have a YouTube clip of Ron Paul speaking right here with you in the audience. We're asking you to dig it, to go view it, to spread it, pass the word to your friends. This revolution is going to happen with or without the press. We're part of this revolution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's about this book. Yeah. It's about you people moving to New Hampshire. Yeah. It's about continuing all the efforts that all of us have done. You stood in the rain, you knocked on doors, you stood in a snowbank holding a sign up for 14 hours freezing for freedom. Yeah. Which was on it way before I ever thought about it. And that's what's great about the FSB, the community. What can I do to help? Not what do you it is that the United States of America didn't become the greatest nation on earth because of what government did. It became the envy of the world because of what government was prohibited from doing. <laughs> the live free or die granted state of New Hampshire. No state income tax, no state sales tax, and it's the only one of the 50 that can say that.